Hey YouTube, it's your boy Danny and... Hey guys, it's Dribbles, what's going on? Hey, so uh, today uh, Rudy couldn't be with us, uh, he's pretty busy, um, don't, didn't tell me with what, told me not to call him anymore, and uh, told me that he didn't want to be friends anymore. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. But uh, hey, he'll be in the studio tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, anyway, uh, so we have our deck recorded. Uh, we had a deck recorded, and uh, it got corrupted. So now I'm re-recording it for a second time. So here it is, guys. Without further ado, prank kids. Okay. So the first prank kid that we're gonna talk about. First thing that we're gonna do is Jibbles. You can hold them up. Yeah. yeah. Is uh, prank kids uh, fanzies. Uh, I also call him Prank Kid Broccoli because he looks like a broccoli. He does. He looks he like does. a broccoli. And um, basically what he does is when he's used for Link or Fusion material, you can discard... Blah, 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 blah. You can send one from the deck to the graveyard. Right? Yep. Right? We yeah. talked about that? Yeah, we did. Did yeah. we talk about that? Yeah. Okay. Very good. And then when he's used, you can special summon one from deck or hand. One uh, Prank Kid from deck or hand. Uh, so, uh, moving on to the next prank kid. We play a full lineup of prank kids. We play, uh, 12 prank kids total. So next is gonna be Dropsies. Dropsies. This is Rudy's favorite prank kid, uh, Dropsies. She, um, will gain you a thousand life points. And then, uh, when she's used for a link for link or fusion, you can, uh, special summon one from deck or hand. One prank kid from Decker Hand. So going off to the next one. Got the fire one. We've got Lampsies. Lampsies, that's my favorite. I like Lampsies. Lampsies and Roxies are my favorite. Lampsies, uh, what he does is uh, when he's used for a fusion or link material, he can uh, burn your opponent for 500. Get it? Because he's a fire pyro type. Hey. Hey. He burns your opponent for 500 and then will, like all other prank kids, summon another prank kid in defense position from deck or hand. Okay, you got the last one. Roxy's the kind of odd one out that has a cost. Uh, when it's used as a link or fusion material, uh, you have to banish one card from your hand to draw one card. So it's it's getting you a card, but at the same time, it's costing you a card. So it, you got to remember that cost. But sometimes the cost is is bigger. Like it's better to roll the dice and see what you get. You know, because like there will be times where it's like, well, I don't need a polymerization if I have no monsters to fusion summon. So you know, go with what you got. And that was the the lineup of the. Prank kids. The prank kids. Up next are the support. Uh, we have three King of the Swamp. A lot of people choose not to play King of the Swamp. Uh, there is a Thunder Dragon variant of this deck uh, called Prank Kid, uh, Prank Kid Thunder, I think, or Thunder Prank Kids. And uh, they rely heavily on the Thunder Dragons. This deck is going to rely heavily on um, just fusion summoning in its own right and uh using the king of the swamp and uh using that little engine and uh, defending itself with its hand traps you know going around like that um you'll you'll see uh, what i mean uh in a video coming up not soon but soon if that makes sense it is what it is it is what it is up next we have our hand trap lineup which um we have three Ash, because Ash was reprinted, so, you know, more people can have them. Uh, normally in my decks, I don't like including, like, expensive prize cards, but, like, Ash is a common card now, you know? Like, it's, it's whatever, you know? It's like, hey, get in my deck. <laughs> then I have uh, two uh, Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Uh, Ghost Ogies, uh, I, I've never, I've always said this in a lot of my videos, um... I don't like clogging on Ghost Ogres. I don't like having multiple Ghost Ogres in my hand. You can only Ghost Ogre once per turn. You can only Ash once per turn. But I would rather see two Ashes than see two Ghost Ogres. Just for the fact that um, Ghost Ogre is just... 
I don't know. Like it's just it's just something kind of feeling like it. It's it's got like this bad feeling about it that has it on me. Uh, so it's up to you. Play two uh, ashes. Play two ogres. Uh, mix and match. You know, go with your ratio. See what see what works for you. Uh, but this is what's comfortable for me. This is what I like. Uh, up next is uh, if I had them here. If I had them here, they would be two drolls. But they are two, two effect veilers. Yeah, instead they're two ulti, ultimate effect veilers. Nah, yeah. I'm just kidding. They're comments, guys. They're comments. Common effect veilers. Uh, we all know what effect veilers does. does. And now we're, that's the, the monster lineup. That's the monster lineup. I um, uh, didn't count how many that was. Yeah, I didn't count. Yeah, who cares? Uh, up next, what fusion deck would be complete without uh, polys? And Jibbles just pointed out to me that one of them is LOB. Get at me. I was pointing out because it wasn't secret. But oh, whatever. that it wasn't secret? Yeah, and it, it was one off. Oh, um, And then next, to continue on with that, um, we have uh, Instant Fusion. Instant Fusion. So Instant Fusion works really well because two of the fusion monsters, two of your main fusion plays in this deck are level 5 and can be fusion summoned out that way. Um, and then tributed it really quick with their effects uh to get you two more monsters for link plays uh so they're pretty good um overall pretty pretty standard plays um Jibbles, what are you doing counting monsters oh my god Jibbles is counting the monsters i'm mean, just supposed to point it out there's 22 but you weren't supposed to point it out <laughs> no, look where it's in here. Look where County it's in here. County monsters. So there's 22 monsters. 22 monsters. While he runs. Um, next, we get into the... Pandemonium. Pandemonium. Prank Kid Pandemonium. Uh, that's its fusion spell. It's an interesting fusion spell that uh, locks you out of other monsters. So if you use it, you can't uh, summon other monsters, which is okay for us. I want to run a third. I don't know what I'm going to cut for the third. But I want to run a third because of um, this deck is so pure. It's so uh, prank kid oriented. It's prank kid heavy. Um, I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure what to cut like at all. Like if you guys have any suggestions in the comments, go ahead and leave leave a comment, man. I mean, that's what we want. Uh, up next, we play the one uh, invocation. If anything, I might cut the invocation. Because Invocation is just another poly for me. Uh, it's nothing special. But I don't know. I like Invocation at the same time. Then we have Prank Kid. Pranks. Prank Kid Pranks. So this card is basically Pot of Avarice and creates you a token. Pot of Avarice that gets you a token. Let's just say that. Uh, you, um, you discard one, right? Discard? Yes. You discard one, and then you get a pyro token, a prank kid pyro token, pyro token. and then uh, you can put three back, three prank kid cards back, and then draw one card. So there's really no downside to it. Play it. Don't play it at three though. You know, it clogs. Uh, you can hold up the other two with it too. Oh, you want to hold up? Yeah, that way. Sorry. Yeah. So up next is the field spell place. Prank Kid Place. Everybody says Prank Kid Palace. I'm like, nah, it's Place. Yeah, I, I did that a minute ago. <laughs> yeah, I, I know you did. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people do. Rudy does the same thing. Yeah. Uh, so we have uh, Prank Kid Place and one Terraforming. I was playing two Terraforming, but I cut one for a Hand Traps. Um, it's a good card. Uh, lets you add one. Uh, lets you add a, a Prank Kid Monster. And then, um, oh, shit, this is the... You get to add one, and then if you fusion summon, um, y'all, your prank kid monsters gain 500, 500 attack. But then if you link summon, um, all your opponent's monsters lose 500 attack. So this can be devastating with the, uh, with one of your link plays and one of your, uh, rocket plays. So, uh, so I would play it at two, not at three. Uh, if you really wanted to play it at three, you could, but I don't advise it. Up next, uh, the last cards are uh, Draw Power. This deck absolutely needs it. It, it, it craves it. it. It burns for it. <laughs> it needs Draw Power. 
And then the last one is the, the lone trap. Which is an interesting trap at that. If, uh, let me see, what is it? It lets you immediately link summon after activation. Yeah. So you can activate it on your opponent's turn and link summon. And uh, blow out your opponent, like, pretty, pretty bad at that. Uh, and then uh, if it's in the grave, what does it do, Jibbles? Uh, if it's in the grave, oh, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Shuffle any number of prank, ki prank kids cards from your graveyard into the deck, and if you do, the attacking monster loses a hundred attack for each card shuffled. Yeah. So, so watch out for that. So that was the that was the main deck. Uh, Forty cards. Forty cards. Forty card main deck. Um, up next for the extra deck and there are certain things in the extra deck that I would change but right now we, we just don't have the budget to change it so uh, for now I'm keeping it budget I'll go ahead and tell you guys uh, a little uh, about the price range of cards that I got and uh, how much I paid for each card and whatnot so up, up next is uh, three rather washer from the extra deck and this card basically makes your cards into utopia the lightning Makes it so that your opponent can't activate cards when they attack, when the parent kids attack. And then um, during your opponent's main phase, you can banish it to special summon two prank kids. So it's a pretty good card. I would cut it down to one, but we'll talk about that later, like I said. The next one is the rocket, which I absolutely love. This one, uh, if I could play four, I would. Um, he... He's good because of his tribute effect. When he's tributed, he can special summon two uh, prank kids. And then when he's doing battle damage, he'll lose a thousand attack points to attack directly. But combined with Bow Wow, uh, you'll see that that's not a problem at all. Uh, this is another card that I would change, uh, but I'll explain later. Like I said, is uh, two battle butler. We're playing two. He's basically Raigeki on legs. Um, he's not that hard to summon. Some people will tell you he's hard to summon, but believe me, Rudy has summoned it like four times on me in one duel. I don't know how, but he did. So uh, there is that. The next that was with the fusions. Now we're going to the links. Links. So the first link we have is. Bow Wow. Bow Wow, Bow wow uh, makes it so whatever it points to gains a thousand attack points and then can tribute itself to add uh, two prank kid monsters back from the deck, back from the uh, the uh, graveyard to the hand. Wouldn't it be something of like you're shopping for a Bow Wow like on eBay or something and then you're expecting this and then they send you a card and it's literally just a picture of Bow Wow the Rapper? That'd Bow be, Wow the Rapper. That'd be amazing. Oh my gosh. That'd be hilarious. I'm gonna do that now and I'm gonna get kicked off of eBay. It's hilarious. Like in the back like in the back of the card, you just put a picture of Bow Wow. That'd be cool. Um sorry, side note. Uh so next we have uh Cockadoodle Doo. Yeah. So Cockadoodle Doo is a very good card. I like it a lot. Um I like its uh, link arrows, it's pretty useful. And um what I like about it is when it's summoned you can add a uh prank kids spell or trap so it's good to get your plays rolling good to get things started with the fusions there's a combo where you can go into this uh go into this fusion summon and then summon two more fusions summon two more monsters and then fusion summon again i i don't know it's, it's some crazy stuff it's the I feel like crazy i feel like you're making it up no i'm not making it up <laughs> Judge, 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 judge. Uh, and then he's the making up the combos. <laughs> okay. Our last. It's like he has marker and he's writing the the effect on the card. I know, right? Uh, the last of the prank kids link um, is going to be rip and roar, and uh, this is basically your uh, harpy's feather duster. Um, he banishes. He uh, tributes himself to uh, destroy all back row. Um, some would say not as useful as battle butler. But uh, I, I like it a lot. I think uh, in today's meta, it's going to do a lot against uh, Sky Striker, do a lot against uh, Thunder Dragons, and the new Endymion threat that we have to worry about. Unless and you're the, playing six Sams, then you're fine. Yeah, unless you're playing That's six it. Sams. Or Lunalites. I'm about to play Lunalites against 
And then the last two links are playing. The last two links are a Linker Ebo to get rid of uh, Fanzies and a Boral Load Dragon just for spice. So Jibbles, if you will, take out one Battle Butler and two drops, two Weather Painter, whatever. What? Whatever the, the weather. Are... The first one? Yeah. Take out two? Take out two. Okay. Okay, hold those up. Cool. If I had the means of playing cards that I wanted to, I would make one a totally awesome. I would make one a, um, what's it called? Utopia and make the other one Utopia the Lightning. And um, I would go about it that way with Xyz because this deck can do Xyz plays pretty well. Uh, it can make fairly strong boards. Uh, one thing that I wanted to talk about um, as well is um, how budget the deck is like I got the whole core for maybe $40 uh, I got that was every prank kit three of every prank kit including the extra deck three of every prank kit card and then I paid 15 14 dollars for the hand traps like total uh, so what, what is that um 55 like 55 bucks 60 bucks around 60 there for bucks, sleeves yeah. sleeves and whatnot so it'll run you about 60 dollars to play this deck which is which guys like you gotta just people gotta stop over exaggerating like 50 dollars for a deck is not bad and 60 dollars for a deck is not bad you know uh just just roll with it you know like just just go with it and just um just keep on dueling you know, you know what I mean? Uh, Jules, you got any closing thoughts? Oh, I'm good. It's just it's good. Alrighty, so uh, catch us on turn two, y'all. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, most importantly, uh, stay fresh.